Hi, I'm Chris Lee, and this is Virtually Speaking. Joining me today are two incredibly talented and hilarious guys, The Passing Zone, who Pendulette recently called the very best at what they do in the world. Their stunts are thrilling. They've been featured on The Today Show, The Tonight Show, Live with Regis and Kelly. They were finalists on America's Got Talent, and they just appeared last week for the second time on Penn and Teller's TV show, Fool Us, where they actually joined both Penn and Teller on stage for performance. They've also been invited to perform at the White House and in London for Prince Charles, and they've made appearances in motion pictures like The Addams Family and The Aristocrats. They have five Guinness World Records. These guys are in a class by themselves. And at corporate events, they entertain and they expertly present on collaboration, teamwork, and communication. And as far as today goes, I am so glad that I'll be the only person that can join them as a volunteer. Please join me now with The Passing Zone. From their numerous television appearances, including the Tonight Show. America's Got Talent. It's so much fun, I want to do it again. The most amazing juggling you've ever seen. How about juggling flaming torches and chainsaws? Steve Harvey's big time. Uh -oh, why are you with juggling chains? Let's go, baby. Well, hello, The Passing Zone. How are you guys doing today? Owen and John. Yeah. I should say, I should say your names. How yeah. you guys doing? We are fantastic. How yeah. are you doing today, Chris? Good to see you. Phenomenal. I know we're we're really uh, only a couple miles, few miles away from each other, but it feels like it feels like further than that. It's it's been a, a weird couple of months, hasn't it been? Man. Yeah. Uh, but yet here we are as one. Uh, <laughs> the triad. Joined the through triad technology. that everybody's yeah. been waiting for. This is exciting. I've never had two people standing either, I mean, next to each other in frame or on the show together at the same time period. So yeah. this is exciting. It's all new. It's a first. Not for you guys. You guys have been standing next no. to each other for a long time. We have. Yeah, about 32 years. And man, my legs are getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, See? look at that. Little, little, little jokey Good. joke there. So I'm, I'm very happy to have you guys on. I've known you guys since the very beginning of my career. I remember when I first started in this business that uh, you guys were on America's Got Talent. Yes. Right yeah. when I kind of a few years into me doing this. So what year was that? What year, when was that? That was, uh, first Ooh. time we were on was in 06. Yeah. Yeah, we were on in 06. That was season one of America's Got Talent. Right. Nobody with, knew what the show was gonna be. With David Hasselhoff, uh, Piers Morgan, and Brandy as the three judges. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. and it I remember crazy, it was a, it was a big deal because I knew who you guys were mm -hmm. and people who knew who you guys were we're talking, we were all talking, oh my gosh, the passing zones on America's Got Talent. This is so cool. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was a great experience. And uh, for years and years after that, people still remember us from, from season one. Yeah, and then, we had a good ride. We made it to the final round and then soundly beaten by a 14 year old girl. So, uh, you know, that's what happens. happens. Yeah. And then 10 years later, the same thing happened. So, <laughs> right, season 11. <laughs> History so, repeats itself. Yeah, That's right, you came on a second time just a uh -huh. few years ago, and then yeah. the winner was a teenage girl uh, yeah. who was a, a, a ventriloquist. Uh, no. Oh, actually, no. it was Grace Vanderwall yeah. who sang and played uh, ukulele. Right. They, uh, she, she won the whole show? She won the whole show. Yeah. She doesn't even know how to juggle. I mean, what are the... Her juggling is horrible. It's terrible. No. <laughs> But the girl who won like only maybe two or three years ago was also a young teenage right. girl who was yep. a ventriloquist, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So it's it, the whole show is stacked against, you know, two middle-aged sarcastic guys. <laughs> exactly. But the corporate uh, event world loves you guys. Oh, and, and, <laughs> that, we, and we love it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and we have so much fun doing this. We always have. And now, of course, we're in this weird time yeah. where we're not traveling and we're not performing live in front of audiences where, yeah. where are where are you guys are you guys like in well, your that's... is that your rehearsal studio or some kind of a stage yes and that's the cool thing we're here in westminster this is our practice space but we've converted it into a theater so we've got sound and lights and a stage and we put on all, all the shows we do are right here now yeah and yeah. uh we're having a blast doing virtual events and that way we're connecting with people uh different organizations, different companies have us come on and entertain their people, right. and energize them, uh, talk about teamwork, and, uh, and entertain the whole gang along the way. Yeah. 
And those are some really nice curtains, I must say. Yeah. Thank you. See? You like the curtains? We spared no expense. Yeah. <laughs> those are nice. And what is that? What is what's the material? It is, uh, uh, I guess it's pure silk and, That's what uh, it is. Yeah, and uh, silk and velvet. Yeah. And, silk, and, uh, silk and velvet gold. combination. Uh, some gold, gold. woven yeah. in. <clears throat> well, the show is pure gold and the speech is pure gold and the appearances are pure gold. I know that. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah. thanks. Always enjoyed you guys very much as a uh, uh, an option for people when they're looking for something that's very entertaining, but also yeah. it has great substance and great content and takeaways. Mm -hmm. I think that your acronym that you guys uh, like to use, which has nothing to do with juggling, is ICE, right? Yeah, sure. I C E. Your... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's for Thank innovation. you for spelling that. Uh, yeah. John, I appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. I, we know most people watching know how to spell ice, but yeah. we just weren't sure. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, and for those who don't know, it's it's uh, you know stands for innovation, collaboration, and execution. Ah. So, so these are sort of three of the main things we talk about. Yeah. And uh, and now it's it's really been fun through this these virtual performances to be able to bring that message to people and connect with them through technology. Right. But one of the hard things is to when you're separate like this to try to feel like you're together in the same place sure one thing that's always really important to us is we really want our audience at home to get involved you know mm -hmm. they're not just sitting watching a television show right it's such a great thing we can talk to them they can talk to us and uh and we're right there in their living room or in their office yeah. um can, and in fact or you know, their bedroom or sure. wherever they happen wherever, to be wherever they are or the bathroom there's, a little, uh, there's an exercise that we like to start our performances off with and actually maybe we should try that now Let, let's do that yeah. to, to get to get people at home involved and maybe yeah. you can follow us on this it's it's a quick little stretching exercise right so if you would just get up out of your chair mm -hmm. and do what we do right okay this is just a little a little stretching thing it's kind of good I to shake it out yeah. especially or, as uh, go ahead and stand up. And jugglers yeah and then what we do is just reach way way up high into the air get on your tiptoes yep and then just imagine that you're floating yes just, just imagine kind of you're stretch. leaving the ground yes and you can just feel then, it you can just feel <laughs> yourself getting lighter and lighter until you get yeah and wow. then you exhale Rex then hail. you exhale yeah and you just let it all out and you can wow. almost feel your body come back to the ground you know, wow, see? it's just, I mean, doesn't that, doesn't that work? Doesn't that just work in an amazing way? That's impressive. You've been Whew. practicing. I know. It's all up here. It's, it's, a, that's it's a mental. Visualization yeah, is good. how you do that. <laughs> uh, wow, that was, you know that was impressive. Why don't we, you know, should we just move right I on? I think into, so, man. Okay. When we entertain people, we want to start with exciting things, things they haven't seen before. Right. So we're going to start right now with a kind of trick that maybe other jugglers would save for their big finish. Yeah, and most Ooh. jugglers would want to save this type of thing for their grand finale. We're going to kick things off right now with one of these. Look at this. Yeah. Bowling ball juggling. Right. Okay. Not I messing around. Give that to Owen Rick. All right. Now, juggling a bowling ball is a very difficult trick, as you might imagine. But what would be more impressive than juggling with one bowling ball? Well, two of them. Oh, 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 oh. No. oh no. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's okay. Oh, it's you fine. don't have to worry. Look at that. It's, it's the rubber, the rubber, rubber bowling classic one. Classic one. Yeah. He's not it's heard of it. It's a thing right there. I got a rubber face. Oh, thank helpful. God. My favorite oh, part wow. of the show yeah. right there. Oh, man. But now that we've got everyone's attention, yes. uh, it is time for the juggling of the real bowling ball right, right here. This is the real bowling ball. You don't want to catch this one with your face. No. Yeah, no. Actually, sometimes oh. John will switch them on me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we laugh and laugh. Kills me, that That's a good one. You know what? Joker's always trying to come up with unique ways in which to begin the bowling ball juggle. One way is to take one of these balls right here. Throw it up in the air. Catch it on the back of your neck. Flip it up and then start juggling with it. Yeah. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. But we like to do it a little bit differently here. Yes. What are you oh, thinking? <laughs> That's not going to happen. No, he's not going to do no that. Way, no, no, no. I actually, okay. I'll, I'll start with it on my back of the neck. All right, this is what's going to happen. He will, he will gently and disappointingly All right. set the bowling ball on the back ah. of his neck. Mm -hmm. But then this is pretty cool. He will roll the bowling ball off his neck, flip it into the air, and begin juggling to everybody's thunderous applause. Oh, this we think a, this could work. You can get All ready. one of us. <laughs> We're gonna do this. Yeah, uh, uh, Chris, can you count along with us? We're gonna of do course. this on the, on the count of three. All ready? right, here, here we, we go. go. One, one, two, two, two three. three. Whoa, my goodness. Wow. Okay. 
Oh, man. All right, there Look at it that. is. There it is. They're loving it. I'm All at right. home. I can, yes. I can hear him. All I right. Well, I do have one Woo! trick I'd like to share with you. It's a very difficult juggling trick, and that's behind the back. Behind the back. Oh, yeah. Behind the back. There it is, right there. there. Okay, no, Look at that. No, 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 with the big oh, one. Okay, with the bowling ball. Then the big one. Whoa, there whoa. Right. Behind right. the back with a bowling ball. There it there is. There it is. Look at that. See? I'm telling you. There we go. Right like that. Kicking it off with something exciting. That's exciting. And, you know, <laughs> it actually came through very well on the Zoom platform. Great. Cool. Fantastic. I wasn't paid to say that, but really. <laughs> did, did the bowling ball scare you? The bowling ball scared me. The music was amazing, you know, and and funny at the same time. You know, uh, it's pretty cool to me that you guys were on one of my favorite talk shows of all time. Oh, uh, the night I show. I know. With Johnny Carson, is that right? Johnny Carson. Yes. Twice. Yeah. Twice. Can yeah. Believe, yeah. In 90 and 91, <laughs> uh, we were wow. on with Johnny Carson. We performed, in fact, that bowling ball thing that you just saw us do. Uh, we actually hit Johnny Carson in the face with oh. the fake oh. bowling ball. Oh, and the audience just gasped. Oh, we have to show that footage right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, that, Go. That roll is it. pretty cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so it, he got to come out. On, this is one of those things where he comes out on stage and acts and gets to do his skit yeah which was some yeah. of the best parts of the tonight show was when he was interacting and doing acting and comedy yeah. and, and wow and can you imagine i mean here we are what like 22 years old right. and we're just getting wow. started in this business and we are on stage <laughs> with the king live television <laughs> with johnny carson the yeah. king of comedy right and uh well yeah. and he was so supportive of variety acts and variety right. entertainers so to have jugglers on was it was actually a thing where you don't see that much anymore yeah, and the AGT had you on twice because you came on, again, how many years later after the first appearance? You know? Yeah, 10 years late. We're going to do it every 10 years. Yeah, every 10 years. We're, go we're going back on AGT. <laughs> They're doing an interesting thing right now. You know, my wife and I are big fans, and, um, you know, uh, right now there's this moment, you know, um, where Heidi was sick and she may have had COVID, maybe not, nobody knows, but she missed a couple episodes, and then now... They're just starting to film during the pandemic because everything was shot before that. And speaking yeah. of that, that reminds me, you guys were just on a show last week on Penn and <laughs> yeah. Teller's show, Fool Us. Is that yes. right? Yeah, exactly. Last That's a Monday. great show. So yeah. tell me about that. What you were just, did your, your episode just appeared last week on the show and you filmed it right before the pandemic? Exactly. Yeah. It was like well, the, the last thing we did before everything shut down. Yeah. This was like March 12th, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We were in Las Vegas and there was some question as to whether it was even going to happen. It was their final day of taping this entire season. Right. And we were on that last day and we were just hoping and hoping that it would happen. Yeah. They thought we thought they might shut the lights off and send us right. out, or, you know, quarantine us all and you know, kick us out of the building. That turned out to be such an amazing experience. We've, we've known those guys for a long time. Yeah. In fact, when we first started performing, we looked up to them. They were just our heroes. Yeah, of course. You know, we, we wanted to do for juggling what they've done with magic and be a comedy duo mm -hmm. uh, who uses their art form in a totally different way. Yeah. And so we've been fortunate enough over the years to become friends with them. Yeah, and then we got to collaborate. You'll have to see this, uh, this piece. We created a piece just, you know, them working with us doing juggling and magic. Oh, so the four of you on stage together exactly right. so last season we went on to try to fool them with a combination magic and juggling stunt right. did and you it fool went, them? we did not fool them <laughs> oh. uh it seems it, it turns out they're really good at understanding magic <laughs> yeah we didn't see that coming yeah who knew <laughs> who knew they saw right through the magic yeah. part yeah i think the juggling fooled them perhaps yeah they, they couldn't figure that yeah. out uh, but yeah, so this year we wanted to come back on and just do something with them. And so they invited us back. And so wow. yeah, the four of us got to perform on stage. We created this whole piece through a, a whole afternoon of rehearsing together. <laughs> Little ones there, yeah. yeah. Love it. Yeah, this oh, is nice. Very cool. Okay. Look at that. No flash photography, please. Tell us doing a, a beautiful job. Here, here we go. Up, down. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, let's go get it. Right. Are you guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. Here we go. Remember, no flash photography. Let Teller focus. I forgot the blindfold. Oh, yeah. I'm That's ready. Penn, tell him where to throw. Now. Higher. Now. Higher. Now. To the right. Now. To the left. Beautiful. Such a thrill to yeah. just be with them and do this on stage with them. And that just uh, that just showed uh, live on or it aired on TV um, yeah. last week, the first week of July, and obviously people can still watch it online. I'm sure somewhere. Yeah, you yeah. can find it on our web, uh, our YouTube channel, uh, the Passing Zone. Look for that, and uh, yeah, it's nice. Turned out well. We're proud I, of that. I yeah. am excited to see it. I love uh, Penn and Teller. Obviously, they are as good as it gets, and uh, it's great to have. It's a it's a great nod to you guys to have you not only on the show, but then back to collaborate with them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, it was a thrill of a lifetime. We kept pinching ourselves going, is this really happening? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, so what yeah. do you end up doing? Do you end up juggling them or do you, <laughs> what do you, what's the, what's the trick? It turned into a piece where, where Teller was doing something that required a great deal of concentration and silence and mm -hmm. Penn told the whole audience to be very quiet. No flash photography. And then it evolves into us coming out there and joining Penn because Penn is actually a really accomplished juggler. Yeah. And that's ah. he started his performing career as a juggler. So we've sort of bonded over that. So he brought us then onto stage. And as we were sort of watching Teller do this delicate uh, thing, uh, we all start juggling and throwing things around him. And it ends up with flaming torches chainsaw <laughs> stun guns knife kni throwing knife throwing <laughs> wow uh, it, it all this huge elaborate crazy stuff yeah. happening with owen myself and pen while teller is trying to concentrate and right it, it turned out really nicely so when you do corporate events that just makes me think the the, the torches and the chainsaws are, are those are those allowed to be used by you in most uh you know <laughs> conference uh ballrooms and in stages of arenas the for the most part fire isn't happening very much anymore right yeah. indoors um uh, but usually the chainsaws are fine yeah the stun guns the machetes the you know the we, more we dangerous have, thing you should you know you can use but yeah right we have all kinds of good danger stuff yeah. But, but yeah fire is more and more rare yeah uh which is another thing that's kind of nice about doing shows here because yeah. hey we make the rules you can do whatever you want <laughs> it's we, our we, house we, as we long as do you don't here. burn the place down or <laughs> right yeah. each other we yeah. have, have you guys ever gotten hurt? Have you ever hurt each other? Come on, tell me, tell me the truth. Yeah, we've both bled on stage before. Um, you try to keep that away from the audience. Uh, they don't really want to know Please. for sure. Yeah, yeah but, we, uh, we try to hide that yeah, uh, yeah. and uh, address it later. Uh, just a little, just a little nick though. Just a little blood, right? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Uh, just a tiny edge of a chainsaw here or there. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. We've wow. we've had a few uh, yeah. a few incidents. Nothing that has sent us rushing to an emergency room, Thank but. Goodness. Goodness. And nothing that's shut down the show, but, right? Right. But enough where we've had to, uh, you know, pay some attention to it after. Because <laughs> it's dangerous what you guys do. It is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So you know, do you have any? Do you have anything uh, other? I hope that you have some other, you know, things that you might be able to show us that that are maybe a little more dangerous than a bowling ball. Is all I'm saying. Well, that's a good point. We're glad you asked. Yeah. Um, we do have some dangerous stuff. And uh, in fact, that's what people want. It is. Yeah. I mean, people, yeah, that's right. People want to see us do dangerous things. Right. And usually what that means is they want to see us juggle the kinds of things. Like if you were to catch the wrong end, yeah, there yeah. would be serious consequences. Well, and I think the next three items we're going to juggle fit that bill perfectly. We have three with us right here. Oh. Yeah. So the first item is right here. Oh. There it is. Danger mm. item number one. Yeah. OK. It, I, although you know what we should have made this number two <laughs> oh good because look because the, the, the thing oh, oh. oh wow okay horrible no, no this is this is dangerous you don't want to catch the wrong end of this because yeah. if you were to catch the wrong end right. and then maybe like rub your eye or uh -huh. something bad you know, news no that, yeah. that's what happened to bob costas yeah he uh did Ooh. that I, Maybe. You know, I don't think they seem very impressed with the danger of this item. No. Nor the caliber of that joke. 
Good point. Uh, but that's okay. That's all right, because yeah. our next item is even more dangerous, and this is something that you probably haven't seen before, Chris, because we invented this. Mm -hmm. Owen oh, built this in his garage. Check Innovation. it out. Murder on a stick. Oh, yeah. This bad boy is constructed with two industrial-grade rat traps. Yes. They are yeah. both set, ready to unleash their awesome killing power. Watch, Watch this. Here, we can even demonstrate the uh, danger right out. here for you. Man! Okay. Look Pow. at that! See? That just, just messed... Cuts that thing wow, right that in half. Hurt wow, that hurt you. Man, yeah. all right. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. Make sure you reset it so it's still dangerous. I'm, okay, I'll reset that right uh, okay. here, yeah. So now... It's time for the third danger item. And the third item is more dangerous than the first two combined. Check this out. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Man, it just got real. Yes. Chris, it we did. have right here, this is a real stun gun. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. This, is not, you know, this is one of those fake Fisher Price, you know, baby's first stun guns. Uh-uh. This is the real deal. 500,000 volts on that end. Yes. Wow. All right. All right. So... To actually make this work, this is one of those pieces that we really need the help from somebody in the audience. Exactly. Who'd like to join us. You and know, we have just the right person. I found the right guy. It seems just perfect for today. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, look who's joining us. <laughs> it's Chris. Yes. Oh, Chris. Chris look, Chris hey. Lee. The amazing Chris Lee. see you. In person. Look at that. It's so great. You look so lifelike. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, he you, does. You clean you, up you, nice. You look very good. Oh, good. my goodness. Okay. So, wow, Chris, that's Chris, inappropriate. Chris. That's Chris. Nice. Yeah. Chris. Okay, this way. Oh, uh, sorry. All right, yeah. So this is what's going to happen, Chris. <laughs> We're going to get right over here. We have right here this yoga mat. Uh huh. Okay. And we're going to set the yoga mat right down here on the stage. Very we, nice. We want you to lie down on the yoga mat yes. on your sure. back with your feet toward me. All right. Just sort of <laughs> lie down there comfortably, kind of good. Kind of like you're in a coffin. Okay. No. <laughs> what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, okay. Here. No. Yeah. Maybe no. you're like you're in an ambulance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's much better. That's good. All, All right. right. And then so I'm just... going to get the three items right now. All right. You've got those. Uh huh. All right. This is what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. I am going to straddle your body right like this. Yes. Then I'm going to start juggling these items right over your general face and nipple region. Yeah. Then John's going to come rushing from behind, launch himself over both of us, and land just on the other side of your head. What? Okay, yeah, what, what could possibly go wrong? Right? I, wow. I can think of three things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. good point. All okay. right. Okay. Okay. All right, so now, Chris, you're not going to like this next part. <laughs> I don't think you liked the first part. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Chris, we need you to spread your legs apart. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. that's going to be a little tricky. Let yeah. me help you. Okay. I'll help you with that. Just a nice, comfortable there spread you go. here. Right about, Whoa. let's just Whoa. keep, let's go. Oh, oh, oh my, my goodness. Okay, wow. Look at wow. that. That Chris. is an amazing spread. That's incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. This is not your first time on a yoga mat, no. is it, Chris? No, I don't think so. He's no. making up his own poses. That's the upward facing Chris. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, all man, right. if all goes well, you are going to make history. <laughs> <laughs> and if it doesn't go well, It'll go viral on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so it's a win-win situation. Okay. All right. Hey, Chris, I just want to wish you good luck. Whoa. Good luck to you. Jeez. Right here. Okay. What was that? I, I don't know. We, we just friended each other. That's really nice. You, you just Googled me. Uh, All okay. right? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Okay. Hey, uh, I think we're about ready. Are you ready back there? Uh, I'm ready. Are you ready down there, Chris? Yes. You didn't okay. say he's not ready. <laughs> okay. I think that will work. All right. Okay. Hold very still, Chris. Do not move. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Here we go, Chris. Oh, yeah. This is this happening. This is happening, my friend. Uh-huh. Get ready. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. look at that. There we go. He did it. I got him. Oh, man. There it is. There it goes. There we go. Nicely done. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Woo. The deadly rat trap, the flaming plunger, and, of course, Chris. Chris, look Chris at that. Amazing. He's so... <laughs> oh, oh yeah. goodness. He's, wow, he's not, he looks a little concerned. He's not smiling anymore. Yeah. Oh, That's, man. Uh, wow. All right. Thank well you, done, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Thank you for helping us out with that one. <laughs> Ooh, I, think, I think that was a big success, don't yeah, you think? Yeah. I think, okay. Well done, my friend. I thought that was well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, I think, you, were, you were the highlight of that one, Chris. Uh, that was amazing, and yeah, no, uh, I wasn't the highlight. I was the lowlight. <laughs> you survived. Was, yeah, I did. You're no well, dummy. I, You're no dummy. 
<laughs> yeah, we I've did find called, ourselves. I've been called that. Uh, yeah. Obviously, this is a great solution for trying to figure out how in the heck are we going to do what we do involving people from the audience. Right, when there's really yeah. no audience in, in here. So. And so far, this has been a, a way that's been a lot of fun. I, I hope you enjoyed seeing yourself on camera and uh, becoming part of our team and, <laughs> uh, and doing that with us. You know, I've always said that these Zoom conferences and meetings that we have, afterwards, you, you know, you go home, you turn it off and you think about it. And it's like, you really feel like you were hanging out with the people you were zoom conferencing with or whoever you sure. were conferencing with. Yeah. And, um, uh, that right there actually makes me feel like I was actually being, uh, you know, violated and tortured <laughs> in person. As well. and I feel like I was lying on the ground. I don't know how you, how you did that. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, it, it is one of those amazing things. I mean, obviously, we've all experienced this with friends and family as well as work situations where, you know, Zoom calls, video conferencing, all this stuff. Uh, you really, you know, I think people are finding solutions to really feel like they're connected. Right. Uh, you know, my wife and her sisters and their mother play cards. Sometimes they're <laughs> on a, a Zoom card game for like three hours in the evening. Yeah. And, you know, they're all in different houses, but they've spent the whole evening together. And, and one of the things we've noticed that's actually an advantage to a Zoom call is, you know, we often perform in Vegas or Chicago or, you know, all these different places where we're performing for corporate events. And now these people go home to their families that, oh, you should have seen the, these guys. Did, they were amazing. Well, now we're in their homes and their families can come join and watch the show. So right. it's actually something that wasn't a possibility, uh, you know, three yeah. months ago. And we always encourage that, you know, for whoever's organizing the event. You know, there, we know that these Zoom meetings can get boring, can be a little long. Uh, but as people are trying to maybe shut out their family or the other noises are saying, OK, I'm going to be uh, alone doing this thing. This is a part where, yeah, we yeah. say, hey, invite the family yeah. in. Uh, everybody can enjoy it. And it does have, you know, it, it, of course, we would prefer to be performing live if we could. But it's amazing to realize, you know, this is a way in which, you know, we come right into somebody's living room and yeah. we can talk to them right here. Yeah, and it that's becomes, a little too close, John. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm you got to back, back it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it feels personal, yeah. even in a way that a stage show can't. Yeah, often when you're Absolutely. on stage, you're looking out at the audience and they're, you know, we're blinded by the lights. So, but now we can see our audience right there in front of us. We and, see each of you on your screen. Yeah. We hope that people are fully dressed and <laughs> behaving appropriately, but not always. Yeah. You, you took a you risk know. when you asked me to stand up earlier because uh, I, that's I, true. I, yeah. This is the is he wearing pants moment. Right. <laughs> <And you passed. laughs> so, you know, I'm interested in the fact that you guys have been doing this. You know, we established earlier in the in the show, you know, for so many years you guys have been doing this. You don't do the same trick tricks over and I said the same chicks. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> you, you don't do the same tricks over and over and over. You have to innovate. You have to collaborate. So what's your process? And are you guys literally inventing juggling tricks that have never been done before? We definitely are always trying to invent new things. And usually, yeah, there we have to keep changing because, yeah, sometimes people have us come back different years right. or they've been right. watching us for years and want to see new things. And just to keep it fun and interesting for us. Sure. Yeah. We're always developing new stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the great things that happens right here in this space when the camera is not rolling and uh, people aren't watching and the lights aren't on. Uh, you know, then we're here with all these different props and crazy things and we're working on balancing and juggling and, and finding, finding new ways to create. And, and for us as a comedy duo, right. you know, we're a little less, you know, sure, we want the juggling to be exciting and difficult and challenging, but mostly what we're looking for are creative ways to present juggling. Sure. And ways to make sure people are laughing and to yeah. find a, a premise or an idea or the jokes along the way. Uh, and, and then also tie it in with business ideas and things and find ways to do that. And you know, that whole course is so creative for us. Yeah, it really is. And it's, it's, it's one of those things where we've learned over the years that the juggling will interest an audience for a certain amount of time, but it's really our connection with each other, our connection with our audiences. And th the themes that we build into our, you know, the trust, trust 
and uh, collaboration and communication, all these ideas are things that I think people get just by watching our yeah. show. Yeah, everybody has coworkers, yeah. everyone has family members, friends, people that you have to relate to all the time mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways and sometimes in stressful situations. And, uh, and you have to, you know, especially at work, figure out what people's strengths are and figure out, okay, that's gonna be your area, you do that and right. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And, and you learn to work with each other's strengths and make up for each other's weaknesses mm -hmm. and uh and really you know two people working together doing the kind of stuff that we do it's fun because we not only get to talk about that but, right. but we just we get to show people yeah uh, all of the uh the ups and the downs <laughs> yeah of working with people around them yeah it's not often you get to see two of anybody working together for for this many years i mean no, it's it's no. and it's incredible to see you guys are still right on top of each other's, you know, finishing the sentences and just the 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 mental collaboration as well as the physical. So when you guys come in here, you guys have a premise. And first of all, I do want to ask. So that's a trick that you did with my dummy. That's a trick you do with in person. You will actually bring the CEO out and 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 he'll be the one lying down. You'll actually do that trick with a yes. real person. Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's wow. usually a real person there. And. Uh, yeah, it's, it's almost a, better with the dummy be. because you know <laughs> something goes wrong. I know well, yeah. that's incredible. You jump through the air and you take all three things out of the air. I almost I want to see that in slow motion. Yeah. Let's see if we can do it right now. <laughs> I don't know if we can, but well, maybe if maybe. we can, we did. If we did, man, that was awesome. That, that looked, really showed it. That looked great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite a perspective for that person too to be right. lying down, looking straight up at the, the dummy sunlight. cam. Uh, the dummy yeah. cam. We need to gotta get have that. the dummy cam. The dummy cam. D that's another next. great uh, innovation right there. You're welcome. You're that's welcome. for free. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. See, we're everybody's innovating. Yeah. So when you come in there, um, do you guys have any idea of, of new? Like you try and come up with a new idea all the time. And what's your process? Well, usually we we do come in here every day. Dur yeah. at least during the week, five days wow. a week. Um, we come in here and spend at least three or four hours. Um, wow. And that usually starts with just juggling. We put on some music, we pull out things that each of us maybe are working on separately. Uh, I've been trying to learn seven ball juggling, which is something I've never learned. So I thought, okay, it's about time. So yeah. I work on, on that I mean, how long does it take for you to learn how to juggle seven balls, man? Uh, apparently, <laughs> longer than I thought. <laughs> I can't even juggle two. So. Well, and uh, we should we should clarify this because John can juggle seven balls and has been able to do that for many years. But he's decided he wants to juggle as and catch. Your age is as, as many as my age. Yeah, I, yes. I need. Uh, let's see. Is it ninety six catches? <laughs> you don't okay, look yeah. much older than 53. It's makeup. Yeah, it's all makeup. That's good. Uh, yeah, so 50, 50, 54, oh, 54, 54 Sorry, catches yeah. is what I'm going for. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the most dangerous thing you guys have ever done? Because I remember in your promo video, and I remember booking you in the past, you, you have a trick where you actually juggle a human being. Is that wrong? No, that's we, correct. We juggle three, three people from the audience. Right. It's uh, we call them. Uh, it's we call it our people juggling routine, and they're juggle knots. They're dressed up in astronaut outfits, and we get them <laughs> swinging back and forth and juggling through the patterns. Yeah, they're suspended from the ceiling on cables, yeah. and we're running around the stage, and we're pushing them this way and that way, and running all around. It, and they're That's swinging, great. and they're completely helpless and yeah. a little terrified. Uh, and then we juggle these three big balls that look like planets between them as they're floating Oh my around. gosh. Yeah. It, it's pretty over the top. We did that on America's Got Talent. Yeah. And uh, we do that at various uh, corporate events and things around the country. Where they have the uh, suspension abilities, I guess. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah, there are there's plenty of places. Involved. Yes. Yeah, yeah, some places that doesn't work, but uh, there's usually a way to, to figure it out. Yeah. I, I have a good question now, too. Um, you, know, you want to do the seven ball one that you were talking about. What's the one thing you haven't done yet that you that you have your sights set on that you haven't ever done before that's out there mm. that one day what is there anything like that that one day we would like to be employed permanently yeah, yeah. <laughs> very few jugglers accomplish that. We, I want a desk job. I, <laughs> really? I'm going for a desk yeah. job. We've got our resumes out there. Nine to five. 
Yeah. Oh my God! Is water that what cooler, it is? Your dream? Water wait, cooler. Wait, wait, John. This. That's not. That's wait, not. A, wait, oh, okay, come back. Sorry. 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 Just, yeah. It's just yeah. something to think about now and then. <laughs> yeah. So, but wait, Actually, you you were employed. If I'm not wrong, uh, you were employed by Disneyland, or was it Disney, or what was yeah, that? Was that back in the day, we both worked at Disneyland in. Uh, in Anaheim here. And, yeah, uh, yeah, that was that was as close as we came to actually punching the clock. We did actually punch a clock. Show up in the morning yeah. with a timesheet and uh -huh. uh, do that, and then we would wander around the grounds and we would juggle and perform for people uh, in various courtyards or when they're waiting in line to get in rides. Yeah. We would be dressed like royal court jesters. We were in fantasy. So this was land. when you were before the Tonight Show, I would imagine. Yes. And yes, in that's fact, right. That's a good one. It was kind of during, <laughs> yes. or it was. Okay, here's here's a funny thing that happened. <laughs> yeah, this is classic. We were on the Tonight Show for the first time, right? And we were at that same time employed by Disney. Uh huh. Ah. And uh, so right at, I think it was the day after we yeah. were on the Tonight Show. Right. We got a call from our boss at Disneyland. And this is like so exciting because we're thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to offer us our own show. They noticed us yeah, on TV. Yeah, they saw us last night on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Right. And sure enough, you know, yeah. he, he was talking to us saying, hey, congratulations, yeah. you guys. Yeah. That's so great that you were on the Tonight Show. Yeah. We're like, thank you. So glad you watched yeah. it. And he goes, yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. I'm just calling to let you know we're discontinuing the court jester program. Right. So, uh, yeah, you guys don't work here anymore. <laughs> The day after. The day yeah, after. We got fired as Disneyland court jesters the day after doing the Tonight Show. Yeah. Was I, it because no, of the Tonight Show? I I don't think that had anything yeah, to do with it. Yeah, I think they had it. Wow. That has to, it was I mean, good timing for you because now you had a whole promo out there right. for the rest of the world. I know. Yeah, we, Disney's known for making mostly really good decisions, right. but that seemed like an odd one to just <laughs> fire two people that just showed up on the Tonight Show. Exactly. But well, it worked out okay for us. Last yeah last episode of this show i had on nolan bushnell and he sent his application in like two or three times to be an imagineer and they never hired him so that's a good See? thing for him as well okay. because if it wasn't for that uh he never would have invented the video game business yeah right you know what it is sometimes those things that happen to you that you don't expect or don't right. want but it turns out to send you in the right direction so i i'm actually to be honest glad that i'm not still <laughs> working at disneyland yeah at Royal court Chester. <laughs> yeah it worked out yeah absolutely absolutely so what do you think is the most um proud you've been on the corporate stage i'm sure you've had to customize a lot for companies and their themes and their the, the title of their event like what's what's one of the cool moments or one of the more proud moments that you can remember something you did with a corporation where they kind of fed you some you know some some uh, ideas and you ran with that yeah, we, we have, we've had a few, I mean, that's one of the fun things is each time, you know, to look at what the company is and what their products are and can we juggle some of their products or what's the ah, theme and how do right. we work that theme into what we're talking about on stage or yeah. their, their terminology uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, but a, a couple of times we've had entire meetings after they've seen our promotional materials and our video and everything. They've, they, they've turned their whole meeting into an ice theme. Yeah, we show up and there's a huge carved ice sculpture with I-C-E. Innovation, <laughs> collaboration, execution yeah. in an ice sculpture. And you show up to this hotel and there's banners everywhere. Innovation, collaboration. So you gave it to them. I like that. Yeah, yeah so suddenly we're like, oh, what a, what a great, uh, great way that they, they took our idea and just ran with that. That made us really pleased. Yeah. Do you um, juggle ice or do you ice skate or do you have any incorporations of ice into your act? We don't have that yet and you'd kind of mm. think that it, the hard thing is if you juggle ice your hands get very cold so <laughs> and wet and so the next juggling thing you do yeah. is difficult it might be pretty but, cool though that see that would be a cool thing to figure out how to accomplish how to do some ice juggling yeah. or yeah. some ice skating ice, like like ice picks that could kill you if they, if they, Ooh, they go picks, through your hand picks. yeah i like that see, yeah. Take notes. or chainsaw ice carvings there Ooh, is. chainsaw yeah. ice See? carvings. That's yes. our future. That's our future. <laughs> That's right definitely. Okay, well, I'm glad we came up with it here. Okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah. You saw it here first. Is, is there anything else you can tell us that you've never told anybody before or that uh, people would love to hear that is kind of a rarity for them to find out about you? Hmm. Well, let's see. Um, How did you guys meet? At Disneyland? Oh, no, we yeah. actually met at a juggling convention. Of course yeah. you did. Yeah. Yep. 
That's, yeah, uh, that that's was pretty exciting. Way back in the 80s, yeah. and we were both uh, still in college at the time and right. trying to figure out what the heck to do with our lives. And thank goodness it's not the same week as the Star Trek convention, because then... Yeah, how, how do you choose? The conflict <laughs> would be difficult. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one's more cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, I'm not sure either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we were both way into juggling and going to school, trying to figure out what to do with our lives, and we got to be friends, and we had similar sense of humor, yeah. similar styles of juggling, and uh, we thought, hey, you know, what if we put an act together? Why don't we do this for a couple of years before we go get real jobs? Yeah, so and then within that first two years, we were on The Tonight Show. We had a couple wow. of in the Adams Family movie. Uh, if you saw that, there's a scene where Gomez and Uncle Fester pull out some daggers, and they sh start juggling them back and forth. That was John and I stunt doubling for Raul nice. and uh, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, yeah. In, in the Adams Family. So, yeah. yeah, it was an, an iconic moment in that film that yeah. we, we got to be a part of. So we were off yeah. to a good start right away, and, uh, well, we just never stopped. And now, now we're even working on a book right now. That's mm -hmm. one of the, the things we've used this time of not traveling nice. as much. Mm -hmm. We're able to do our performances here in town, and that gives us a little more time. Let me and see if I can come up with a name. Okay, okay. okay. All right. What do you think? Mm. Uh, Juggling... My warm, my warm. <laughs> the first word is you got to know. That's, 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 I believe the working title life? right now. Juggling it, life. Juggling life. Look for it this fall. What? I'm right. Yeah. You are. Juggling, juggling life. life. Juggling oh. life. Because we've lived that's a funny. juggling life, but yet everybody, everybody is trying to juggle their life, right? right. Yeah. And so this is a both a real and a humorous look at life through the experiences of a comedy and juggling duo. Mm -hmm. Crazy Who things that happen to us. <laughs> right. yeah. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I wonder what it's like to look at life through the eyes of John and Owen. Wow. This is going to be your opportunity, finally. <laughs> exactly. It's it, come to that's this. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of crazy stories about things that have happened, things that we've learned from that, and then things that normal people, people yes. who are not jugglers, yes. can learn from our uh, crazy experiences. And so is the pinnacle of juggling doing something that nobody's ever done before in juggling or setting a world record? Are those the two kind of like, you know, uh, accomplishments that all the jugglers are looking at? I'm just That's, curious. That is definitely, and, and juggling right now just is growing oh, in man. leaps and bounds because yeah. of the internet, because of, right. I mean, when we were young, you could only learn from finding another juggler somewhere right. who was willing to teach you something. Right. You learn everything yourself. Wow. And now yeah. people, people can just go on the internet and see the best jugglers in the world. Right. And, and people are learning so fast. And, and you funny. have set world records, right? Yes. We have. Yeah. What are, yeah, what we are were, the world records? Let's hear about it. The, the, one of the first ones that we were most excited about is we were the first duo, two people, to pass 11 clubs between two people. Yeah, wow. previously it was the record was 10 by a couple of Russian jugglers, and then in 1993 we were the first to pass 11. Yeah. Wow. So, and and that then was cool. since then that record's been beaten by Russians again. Yeah, it was held, but, we held it for about 10 years, but now, uh -huh. yeah, again, the juggling uh, skills have just increased so much, and, and uh, yeah. I think that it's very safe and fair for me to say that you guys are master communicators because you have to be able to communicate really well in order to throw something to somebody else, especially yeah. that, that, that's dangerous sure. in order for them to catch it. And there's some really great metaphors there. I mean, there really is a truth to the fact that you guys to be able to have done what you've done for so long and be at the top of your game and so in demand in the corporate events industry and the corporate meeting industry for so long, is really is really about just accomplishing this ability to communicate really well with each other but also the clients of course as well so that's yeah there's there's no you can't forget that about you guys oh yeah yeah we, we have to figure out what goals to set you have to decide together what those goals yeah. are going to be then right. talk with one another about what those steps are going to be and then along the way communicate about how things are going uh yeah it's this constant back and forth and uh yeah it's really important to to keep that in mind and that we're not just each working in our own silo doing our own thing right it, it, and it it doesn't take much you know when we like to get together with our clients you know a month ahead of time and find out what challenges they're facing and what what their you know company culture is at the moment so then when we show up we are you know a part of their team in a way and so we we have that inside information 
and then people realize that that show is just for them. Yeah. Like, these jokes, these comments are tailored to those folks and they don't they won't work the next day or the day before you know it's just for them and yeah that's that's a great that, thing that connection is super powerful yeah, yeah yeah absolutely so you guys are super collaborators with each other and with the clients and certainly uh you know i, I wish i feel like i wish i could collaborate with you i wish i could be a part of your <laughs> well you know, team and hang out and you just sort of were for a moment, yeah, and and that was that was pretty great. Right. Thank you for well, thank for you. joining us yeah. in that way. Um, <laughs> you know, we were thinking that we would want we wanted to end our thing today with a kind of a performance piece that demonstrates what we've just been talking about, right? And oh. the kind of the amazing things that happen when different people come together, mm -hmm. right? And so, yeah, in fact. If you could actually join us here in the studio for a few minutes great. and help us with this next thing, that would be just fantastic. So if, I, I think there's a way through yeah. technology uh -huh. that we can do this safely. A little bit of innovation. If you could leave your space there and come here to the Passing Zone Clubhouse yeah. and join us in our space, do you think you could do that? I mean, I, you, I, I, I think I can. I, I can to, try. We could, we could accomplish something together that we could never do without your help. All right, let's give this okay. a Come on over and see. Owen's going to meet you over by the door. All right, all right. I'm, I'm yeah. going to come. Head on over. Okay, all we'll, right, see I'll be... we'll see you in a second. All right. Okay. He's going to be on his way here in just a minute. And uh, I think... We have, okay, come on in, Chris. Oh, look uh, at this. There we go. He has yeah. joined us <laughs> live and in person Man, right and look, here. Look how tidy he is. Very, he wore a suit and tie. Thank you. Very nice, quick change. That's very good. <laughs> are, how, are, how are you feeling about what's about to happen? Um, I, I have no idea what, it, what it's gonna happen, so I'm very nervous. Okay. I know. Yeah. Dude, it's we were actually going to put you in a little bit of danger. Right. Uh, how do you feel about that? Are you worried about getting hurt? Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's a little concerning. That. Okay. All right. Do you want to get him into position? Here we go. There? Let's have you stand right, right back here. All right. He's going to get you where we need you to be right there. Uh huh. All right. And then this is what's going to happen next. This is going to be pretty cool. Uh huh. We are actually going to juggle some dangerous items. Uh, around you, yes. I, I mean, uh, around you, there you I, go. I don't know who I'm talking to now <laughs> anymore. We have flaming torches right yes. here, okay? All right. Flaming torches. Check it out. They are going to be flying in front of your face Losing just like back this. back and forth at yeah. lightning speed. Back and forth, but they will also be going behind your uh -huh. face, right like this, so back and forth. back and forth. It's very important that you do not move. Yeah, stay, <laughs> stay perfectly still. If put, you could put, put your hands put your like hands this. Put, yeah. <laughs> like Excellent. A, that's perfect. That's a good look for you. <laughs> he is so good at following directions. Look, yeah. he hasn't moved at He's all. He's just I've st yeah. almost statuesque. Okay. Hold very steady right. right there, Chris. This is going to happen. Here we go. Oh, 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 sorry. What? Sorry. Okay, no, I got it. I got John. it. John. I'm good. I'm fine. John. I, uh, John. What? You dropped a torch. Well, no, but I picked it right back up. Come here. It's not. No. Come over no, here. No, why do we have. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll be right back, Chris. To see this, oh, no. This is I, awful. I hate this. How many why? times is no, this going to take hey, you before you learn? Get it over with. You have got to hang <sighs> on to those torches this is a so little bit better. No, <laughs> sorry. That's ridiculous. No, this this is I'll an old so shirt. Much. It's not that this old. This is an old shirt. No, I've had no. this shirt for a long time. No. I'm getting better. He's not getting better. I started with white dots first. Okay, all right. No. <laughs> all right. All right. So I I'm getting a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even look at his socks. What? I yeah. can't yeah, that's the well, yeah, there yeah, we go. There they are. See those? All little right. little extra. Okay. 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 So now, you know what? These are going to be flying around you, and it's going to be very exciting. Yeah. But I think that there's a way, Chris, that we can make this even more exciting. I think you're right. Oh, and no. you want to get the thing? I'm going to get the thing. Oh, Check it out. Here it comes. Look at this. Whoa. Yes. We've got the chainsaw. We have a chainsaw uh -huh. and three flaming torches. I do believe that we are the only jugglers in the world to throw a running chainsaw <laughs> around a real person. Yeah. A real person who is right here with us. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I think we're about ready to do this. I think this. we're ready. I think all we need is a little bit of exciting music. Okay. All right. right. Here we go. All right. All right. Here we go. This is going to happen. Uh-huh. There it is! 
Oh, uh, my we, goodness. He's done it. There Look we go. The and the flames. We've the got the flames. And there's Chris. And there's Chris. Oh, my gosh. Here, we're going to get okay. see if we can blow these out. All right. Here, here you get that okay. one. We're going to get this out. Okay. That was exciting. Oh. There we go. There oh. it is. Chris. Well done, my friend. Look at uh, that. You he survived. were fantastic. <laughs> Very well done. All right. We'll see you back at your office. Okay. Yeah, you can head on back. There you go. Okay. Uh, I think, is he coming back? Oh, he's coming back. Oh. There, oh. How do you feel? How do you that, feel now? That, that, was, that was incredible, actually. That was, <laughs> that was amazing. You can feel the heat. Right? Can't you just it's feel just, the heat as it goes by? You can smell the gas of the chainsaw. Yeah. I, you know, I can. Thank you. I can smell it. <laughs> Thank you. Again, that's something that, that you do with, uh, with real people. Yeah. We do. Yeah. And, and now this actually is a way that the person involved there can be looking out and seeing things fly in front of their face as well right. as everybody in the audience seeing them. And as opposed to the cardboard head, we get to actually talk to you yeah. when you're with us uh, that way. And interact live. That's amazing. That, that was hilarious. And, um, <laughs> Thanks, brother. What a cool, what a cool you know, usage of the Zoom technology and the, the world that we're in right now, making, making it all happen for us to actually be together. I mean, I can imagine yeah. a CEO oh, of sure. a company uh, being used for either of those where you used me. And I, I, it was a pleasure. It was an absolute pleasure and an honor to be used by you yeah, guys. You, you, awesome. you got to be involved in both. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, this is such a fun way to be able to make someone really uh, feel involved and be a part of it. And that's what we're all doing right now right. Is, is connecting with one another through technology. And we are just thrilled as, as much of a challenge as this time is. We're so excited and thrilled about having the ability to do it this way. Right and to still be able to do what we love to do, yeah. still be able to connect with audiences and deliver our message and get people laughing right. and just keep doing what we love. Yeah, and you guys obviously love what you do and it's, it's apparent and it's evident and it's obvious and um, it's very unique what you're doing. There's nobody else doing anything like this. So I'm, glad, I'm so glad you got to come on my show and wow. show this to all these people. Uh, it is it's our honor, Chris, yeah. and we hope that uh, for the people in your company and for all of the clients that you have and the people who are coming to you for great speakers, great experiences, we hope that uh, seeing us do this was a great experience for, for you and for all of them. Oh, I'm sure it was. So definitely thank you from, from, from me to you guys. This has been amazing. Thank you so much for doing it, all the time and effort you put into it, although you make it look so easy. <laughs> it's good. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad it looks that way. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, thank you again. We are honored to to be with you today. And uh, you're look the best, forward. Chris. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. We'll talk soon, guys. Thanks so All much right. again. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Take care.